Hello, welcome to LV Toys. Right, I am going to tell you a story. Are you sitting comfortably? Do you have your cup of tea? Let's begin, right. So once upon a time, Lego made cubes for the Lego Friends series and they were super duper cute and I loved them. I wasn't alone, lots of people love them. Well, not love them, because we love them. And at the end of series three, they had this teaser for series four cubes, winter cubes. <gasps> so exciting. And I hypothesized maybe there would be pajamas in there because the Lego Friends girls would have like all the wintry stuff and be all snug and cozy. And I was so, so excited. So hold on, I just turned this into a story about me, but it's, it's a story about somebody. Anyway, I went searching for Lego Friends cubes on the internet, on Mr. Google, and oh look, Olivia's Winter Play Cube here at Walmart, but no, it's just an empty placeholder link. So I got so sad that I couldn't find the winter cubes that I decided to make Lego Friends pajamas myself. So <laughs> that's the end of that story, but it's only the beginning of this story because it is time for pajamas. I have long lamented the fact that the girls do so much <laughs> when they sleep, they have to sleep in their clothes. <laughs> so, ew. Right, so today we are making pajamas for Lego Friends Girls and we're going to start with Emma. And the reason we're starting with Emma is because we got to get out of jail free card here with the first day of the advent calendar. Ah, Emma actually came in pajamas. The first advent, if you will, of pajamas in the Lego Friends series, but I couldn't just leave it at that. So even though these pajamas are very cute and they're printed on the back, all these things, they make me very, very happy. <laughs> it doesn't take much to make me happy. I live a simple life. However, however, her arms look cold. So we are doing some changing here. I have got two of these Elsa mini dolls and I am going to rip her arms off and give them to Emma. So we have got some arm wrenching out to do. So pop out goes one of Emma's arms. Let's take the other one out. If you ever changed over mini doll arms, it's really satisfying. So now these bare arms are gonna be swapped over with Elsa's nicely colored, perfectly matching blue arms. <laughs> right, so there we go. They look totally armless at the moment. Uh, let's put these blue ones in and then we will, hold on, let's take her hair off because it's really hard to get in there at the moment. So one arm on, two arm, this, no, hold, hold the phone. These clicked in, but they don't fit in properly. <gasps> no way. Okay, so new torso. The mini dolls this year have a new torso and I didn't even realize, because I've never I haven't pulled the arms off the new ones, that they're different. These are the old ones on the right. On the left are the new ones. Ah, uh, so there's less space in there for the actual arm plugs. This is actually cool because I haven't actually ripped arms off, like I said, to look inside the new torsos. So this is the new torso on Emma. This is the old torso on Elsa. As you can see, it's hollow. Uh, okay. So before we mm, start butchering things further, let's see if the new arms actually fit on the old torsos, because that would be a bit of a catastrophe if they didn't. So these are the new arms. It, oh yeah, oh, that pops in beautifully. Oh, I think I might grow to love these new arms. They actually are easy to take in and out. It's a little bit, no, I don't think that's loose. And yeah, they're very securely in there. Ooh, ooh, this, this is exciting. We might do more arm swappings because it's actually a lot easier to take off these new arms than it was the old arms. So Elsa has now got some bare arms, which I'll do other things with. These ones are too long to go into Emma's torso. So we're going to cut them. <laughs> we are going to just take the end off and I've got, I need a bit more space. So I've got my, these are kitchen shears. These are so sharp uh, and so like heavy duty kitchen cutting scissors and these will they're designed to cut through chicken bones so they will cut through this nicely but I'm gonna be very very careful and just take a little bit off just to just inside that nub end I'm going to make sure I line it up and then get my fingers out of the way yeah there we go that should I mean it's not straight there's the little bit that I just took off stuck to my finger let's check that that now fits oh my goodness like a glove all right, okay, so experiment works. Let's do the other one. So I wanted to check one before I actually cut the other one. Line it up, fingers out of the way. Can cut through a chicken, you can cut through my fingers. So let's get these fingers out. That's not quite as straight as the other one. Let's, I could just sandpaper the end of that off, but I think it will fit. You only need to take a little bit off to fit it. Oh, that's awesome. And now, yeah, they're nice and secure. 
That's cool. Wow, new arms, new arm joints. <laughs> right, so she has got some nice warm sleeves now because that goes better with the actual big onesie look that she's got on. Ah, uh, but I'm still, I, I'm still not content. I want to change her hair. I want to put a sleepy cap on her. So to do this, I, I need to steal Santa's hat because this just looks like a big sleepy hat, right? And Santa's not using it at the moment. So if we put this on, right. So if we actually just put this on Emma's head, she would look bald. So I have a plan which involves more cutting and I've actually already done this because it is so fiddly and that you would have learned a lot of new swears. So what I did was I took a hairpiece and I cut around the bottom, no, around the top. And this is what's left on the top. It's a really nice bowl cut. We could use that for something else. It looks an awful lot like some quarantine haircuts. Nice, very, very nice, but not what we're looking for today. So we will remove that and I will show you what I used the bottom half of the hair for. I actually stuck it onto the Santa hat and I have recolored Santa's hat into a sleepy cap. Put that other bowl cut away. We don't need that. <laughs> so I glued this on. I had to, yeah, this, this takes quite a bit of fiddling to actually line the hair up with the, oh, there's a bit of glue stuck on the bottom there, uh, to line the hair up with the bottom of the sleepy cap. But I got there in the end, and now, now she has got a sleepy cap with hair on the bottom so she doesn't look bald. So now I am happy. Doesn't she look so cute? Oh, I really need to clean that off. I will clean it off later at the moment. Oh, that's come a bit unstuck too. I've got some fixing to do, but at the moment it will do. And she's got her teddy, of course, Mr. Bobo, because we need all the sleeping things we have, but I'm not finished yet. I actually made another sleepy face. I have two sleepy faces now because the other one has freckles and Emma doesn't have freckles. So we're going to actually put a sleepy face on her. I wish that Lego would do an official sleepy eyes for mini dolls. We need more expressions. These girls have got, you know, they've got so many thoughts going on in their head. They needs to be able to, that's really un unstuck now, but it needs to come out through their faces. So she's now got her sleepy eyes. That is adorable. And we can put Mr. Bobo over here with her. I want to tuck Mr. Bobo over in here, but now she's off balance. No, no, Mr. Bobo, you're throwing her off. We'll put Mr. Bobo back on the front. Fine. <laughs> ah, okay. Emma has got some pajamas. By the way, did you notice the pillow that I just took off? This is really, really simple and I've never actually shown you how to make these. I just discovered it's so easy. So you need two of these sloopy pieces, one with the upward facing studs and one with the holes to take the studs and then you just put them into each other. And I've just put a bit of a sticker on the front and then you can sit it up there and they make little cushions. Little cushions you can move around. So pretty right. Olivia's turn. She gets some pajamas. We're going to use this as her base outfit, which at the moment looks Kind of honky. It's not what we <laughs> it's not what we want. It currently looks like a swimsuit. However, we don't have too many choices, color choices for Olivia be uh, because of her skin tone. She's a new skin tone in mini dolls. So I actually took this swimsuit top and I colored in the bottom of it to make it be the top of what's going to be her nighty. And it turned out really well. Now this is sleeveless. This is a sleeveless summer nighty. She, she's Olivia. She's she's a genius, but she doesn't notice things like change of season. So as long as her legs are warm and her feet are warm, she doesn't notice that her arms are cold. And I have had a plan for the bottom part was to actually add bunny slippers. So I made bunny slippers. <laughs> turned out so cute. I made the little ears out of out of green stuff, which is like a two part molding epoxy. So you make it and then you make the shape and you stick it on and you wait till it dries and then you paint it. So now she has got bunny slippers. They're a little bit fragile. But once again, wouldn't this be so cute if like I made something real like that? Wouldn't it be so perfect? So now she's got a pink nighty with some pink bunny slippers. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I really chuffed with how her bunny slippers turned out. And she, of course, has got Schnaffel Flumpkin, who's her childhood toy, who still sleeps on her bed. And she's got a book because, you know, we're setting her up for bedtime at the moment and you can't go to bed without Schnaffel Flumpkin or a book. So she is totally ready. <laughs> I love her. She's the cutest thing. Okay, all right. So Olivia is done and I don't want to actually, oh, do I want to sit? I don't want to sit her down because if I sit her down, I can't see her bunny slippers. So let's stand her up over here and we'll put her, 
We'll put her book and her teddy, Mr. Schnapple Flumpkins over here, and now next is next. So next, next up we have got Stephanie. And I wanted all the girls to be different, like in different styles. And I was looking through all of the outfits that we already have, and the new Mulan outfit could actually double if we recolored it as a dressing gown. But I only have one of these and trying to buy a second one is really, they're really expensive. So I don't have two of these, so I was not willing to recolor it and I would be no good at painting all of those lines. So I gave up on that idea, but I didn't give up on the idea of a bath. So <laughs> this is where we go. We've got, she's gonna be wearing a 92. She's got her nice big warm boots. No red tops, which were plain, so I painted a plain red top and I put a puppy dog nail sticker on it. So this is the cutest Jimmy's. And she needs her head, but... So she's got her jammies, they got long sleeves, her legs are gonna be cold, but that's too bad. We could change that later. But she has got a bath cap because she's just come out of the bath. And it doesn't matter if she doesn't have hair hanging out the bottom of this, if she looks kind of bald because that's what bath caps are for. Shower caps are for like putting all your hair up in it. And if she's in the shower in the bath, she needs a towel. So we've got a little strip of towel here, which I can just kind of drape over her shoulders maybe. Cause she just come out of the bathtub and that's not staying. Oh, come on, that'll do. Actually, it's sticking to itself quite well. And she, of course, is going to get a rubber ducky because there's no way we were going to do a bath outfit without a rubber ducky and and a scrubbing brush. <laughs> there, look at this. Okay, <laughs> she's got a rubber ducky and she's got the scrubbing brush and she's got a towel that just won't behave. But if we want to just put her in a nighty, we can just take all of this and put her, like, all of this off and just put her normal hair on. And she's got to have her teddy too, but I have no idea what this teddy's name is from her childhood. So this is, you know, the pink Care Bear kind of looking teddy. So she is ready after she gets dry. She's ready for bed as well. Let's put her over here, put the scrubbing brush down so we don't obscure Emma from our view. And then we get to move on to the next girl. Who is? Who's got the next turn? It's Mia's turn. So Mia. Mia, I think, wouldn't really care too much what her jammies would look like. In fact, she'd probably just wear her clothes to bed. So I'm going to use this top, but I'm going to make it long sleeve because I really don't like these sleeveless tops a lot. And I'm going to paint the arms. Going to. I've already done it. I've painted the arms in a purple to match her top. And I didn't rip these arms off another character because there are no other characters with this color purple arms. And for legs, she's actually wearing Rapunzel's leggings, which I made for Rapunzel's casual outfit. And she doesn't care that her outfit mismatches. It's all purple, right? So she got sent out to get changed into her jammies and she just grabbed the first two things off the top of the drawer. So she is ready for bed and she's got her old sneakers on. And I... I, so she's got her normal red hair, but I didn't, I mean, you don't sleep with your hair up. Not like that anyway. That's really uncomfortable. So I tossed around some ideas of doing some different hair and there's not many red hair options. So there's Ariel's hair, which is really, really pretty and would actually do quite nicely for her for down hair. But I wanted to try some other hair pieces and see what they look like. So move that one off. And I got Poison Ivy's hair and I erased the green bits from the front kind of curly braid thing and this also is really really it's really pretty and I think that this would do really well for her down hair as well but obviously I didn't you know I wanted to give myself even more work and when I thought of this idea I just had to do it so I actually have taken this hair from the hidden side character and I've repainted it in red and I've made the headphones green to match because the, the hair was originally purple and the headphones were turquoise. So I've matched her color scheme. So she's actually listening to Headspace, you know, or some sort of meditation or sleep cast app while she's trying to go to sleep. <laughs> so that was so perfect for her, I think. So she's also going to get a sleepy face because I've got the perfect one for her with the freckles that I had already made when I made the sleepy toddler dolls. So there we go. Look at that, Mia's already asleep. She looks so angelic when she's asleep. <laughs> and she's got her bear. She's got Pookie Panda. Pookie. And we're going to tuck her in at the back over here on the floor. She's just conked out. And we'll put Pookie up here. 
Oh my gosh, they look so cute. Oh, I just love the sleepy faces on the mini dolls. I want an official one, Lego, come on. All right, last up, we have got Andrea. And Andrea is going to, oh, my idea for Andrea was actually inspired by this hoodie here. She's going to have a rabbit onesie, a bunny onesie like this one. <laughs> and to do this, we need some of these three quarter puffy pants. And this is one that came from one of the, I think I have three or four of these, these pants from the oldest sets. And they're a bit grubby and a bit trash. And you can't really tell, but the white is, go, white is going a little bit yellow. So I was more than happy to paint over these and make some new pants, some fluffy pants. <laughs> they turned out so cute. So I've actually textured these because I ended up with like four layers of paint and I just kind of textured with a toothpick into them to make them look furry and they turned out so well. The slippers not so well, but we're just going to ignore them. <laughs> I can fix them later. And for her top, I did the same thing. I repainted the top with four layers of white paint that wasn't going on smoothly anyway, because white is the most horrible color to paint with in model painting. And I don't know why it's so awful. And it worked out well, though, because I could texture it. And I put a little tiny bunny sticker on as a pocket. So where are my nail stickers? So these are the nail stickers, really cutesy ones that are the perfect size for mini dolls. So I had this one on Stephanie and the little bunny on Andrea. Oh, and the sheep's so cute. I want to use that on something. Okay, but I can't. So let's finish up Andrea. So she's got her head as we normally see it. And she just puts this on now. Like it's, it's she's pulling her hoodie up. The hoodie of her onesie. So normally it would be hanging down the back like that. <laughs> Looking terribly conspicuous. So she has got a bunny onesie with some fluffy pink slippers. And she also, obviously it's bedtime, she has to have her, her, cuddly, her cuddly toy too from her childhood. But I wanted to give her a bunny as well. So she's got a new bunny toy to match her bunny outfit. And she's got little Pangy, little Pangy from when she was a toddler. Okay, so all of the girls have now got pajamas. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give Mia her phone so that she can actually have Headspace or Smiling Minds or whatever mindfulness app that she's listening to to go to sleep going. So now it's perfect. They're all perfectly ready for bedtime. They're all comfy. They're all snug and they all finally have pajamas. Gave up on waiting for Lego to give them to them. And I made them myself. So <laughs> they did turn out really, really cutely. Cutely. That's a word that doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time now to subscribe. Let me know what you think of their pajamas. Give the video a thumbs up and check back in for more videos soon. <laughs> I'll see you then. Okay, bye.